In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can create user form and a subform, and also generate some unbound calculations so that we can add a new customer such as Morty and Smith, and we can give a date of birth. I'm just going to go back a few days, and then we can actually then allocate the student some courses like information communication technology and have the cost come up. Also have the running cost at the bottom and also the total number of courses they've enrolled in. So as the student enrolls in more courses, the cost will go up and also the totals will adjust as we go along. So let's get underway. So this tutorial has been built on other tutorials. So if you have a look at my YouTube channel, you'll actually see the previous tutorials through this. But first of all, we're going to go up to database tools and have a look at the relationship. What we're going to be using is a parent form, which is going to be students and then show our sub form, which is going to be enrollments. But we're also going to use some data from the courses table as well. So this will be our parent and our subform is actually going to be made up of two tables. One is an entity table, which is courses, and the other one is a transaction table. So let's get underway. So the very first thing that we're going to need is actually a form for our students. So I'm going to go up and create, and I'm just going to use the form wizard for this. So I want all their information, so I'm just going to add them all to the form and click on next. As we go through, we want, we want column, and then I'm going to give it a name called FRM student and I'm going to put enrollment and then we're going to click on finish so this creates a very first form I'm also going to go and just change the design of the form even though we don't have a picture at the moment I'm just going to move this across the property has been selected to see that panel and I just want to move the photo up to the right hand side just to give the form a little bit more of a better shape so in the runtime view you can actually see it's more linear. And this way we've also got an area at the bottom for our subform. So I'm just gonna go Command S or Control C, S to save that. And I'm gonna close this form now. The next thing we're gonna do is actually create a query. So I'm gonna go up to create. And our subform rather than being made up of another form, it's actually gonna be made from a query. So we're gonna go on query and design view. I'm gonna select the tables I want. Now I'm gonna add the students, the enrollments, and also the courses and click on close and I'm going to add students enrollments and also I want to see the title of the course and the cost of the course and now I want to save this so I'm just going to go command S and I'm going to call this SQRY so the subquery student enrollment you click on OK so when I run this now, we should have all the student IDs, the course IDs, the titles and the cost of the course that they're enrolled into. Now what I want to do is make a form of this query. So I'm going to go up to create and this time I'm going to use the form wizard, make sure the query is selected. I'm going to add all these fields across, click on next, click on next, click on tabular, next and I'm going to call this SFRM. SFRM student enrollments. And click on finish. Once I've done that, I can then close this form, open up the enrollments form, and then I want to drag the subform onto the form. And if you look at my YouTube channel, you'll find a tutorial on this. I'm just going to drag this area down and make this window a little bit bigger. So I can actually see this full form. So I'm just going to save this and run this now. And you'll notice that all the student IDs one relate to the courses that they're enrolled into. At the moment there are no totals. So you can't actually see how much all these courses cost. So what we'd like to do is actually put in a field to count or sum up the total of the courses. So let's go back into the design view. And we're going to go into the subform here and I'm going to click above the line. Now if I click above the line I can move that down and put more space in between the two fields so that when it repeats. But I'm just going to move this down a little further again. And I'm going to click at the bottom of the footer part, move that down, you'll actually see the footer appear. Then underneath design I'm going to select the field. And over by cost, I'm just going to click and just move this into position here. 
and I'm going to in here put total cost. And what we want to do is actually add up the cost field. So it's going to be equal to the sum of round bracket, square bracket, cost, which is the name of the field, square bracket, round bracket. So you can actually see that we're summing this field up. I'm just going to click out of there, save it, and run now. And you can actually see that it actually adds up all these numbers together, 6, 4, and 5, that's 15, so $1,500. But you notice it doesn't have the dollar sign. So let's go back into design again. Click on the field. Go up to format. And just change this now to currency. Save this. Run it. You can now see it's $1,500. If we go to a new record and we add a new student, so first name, we'll put in Morty. Last name Smith. We can put in a date of birth. I can go back a few days. And now I could actually come down and go course ID, select the course like drama, $400. And you'll notice it all when I click in the next record, it actually adds $400. If I select another course for him, such as information communication technology, it's $500. Click down, it's gone to $900, which is $400 plus $500. If we wanted to, we can actually count the number of actual courses they've enrolled in as well. So what I'm going to do is go back into design. Once again, select a field. Click over here. We can then change the label, put total courses. And what that can actually be equal to is the count bracket, square bracket. And you can just count any of the fields. So I'm just going to count cost. So rather than summing it up, this time I just want to count them. So every time there's an instance of one, it should add it together. So I'm just going to now run this. Go back in design again. Just make sure we've got the field name right, save, run. And you can see it's in current, I'm enrolled in three. If we go to the very last record, this is Morty and he's enrolled in two with a total cost of $900. So that's how we can actually create a input subform that can have totals and also counters. I hope you found this tutorial useful, so give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful databasing tutorials, and I wish you all the best in your future database development.